from this video, we are going to walk through the five hidden dangerous signs that your body is rejecting magnesium. Signs most doctors miss until it is too late and contrast them immediately with the five screaming signs that you are critically deficient. Best magnesium supplement to take. And you will learn exactly which form heals your brain versus which one is just expensive plumbing for your toilet. Understand the genetic triggers that change how you absorb nutrients and walk away with a specific seven day reset protocol. No more guessing just the raw truth about what is happening inside your cells right now. Also in end, I'll tell best magnesium supplements to take. The simple breakdown. To understand why this goes wrong, imagine your body is a high performance vehicle and magnesium is not the fuel. It is the ignition key. You have over 300 metabolic engines inside you, enzymes waiting to do their job, but they sit dormant until magnesium turns that key. It is the master switch that tells muscles to relax, allows nerves to send clear messages, and stabilizes your heart rhythm. Think of calcium as the concrete that makes things rigid, and magnesium as the fluid that keeps things flexible. But your body relies entirely on your kidneys to act as the bouncer, deciding how much magnesium stays and how much gets kicked out through urine. If that bouncer gets tired or the doors jam, magnesium levels rise, turning that relaxation effect into a total system shutdown, acting like a chemical straitjacket that suppresses your ability to breathe and move. It isn't just about what you take. It is about who you are at a cellular level. Your genetics and hormones dictate the rules. You might have a genetic variation that makes it incredibly difficult for your intestines to absorb magnesium, meaning you can swallow pills all day and still be clinically deficient, starving your brain. On the flip side, stress is the ultimate thief. When cortisol spikes from anxiety, your body enters fight or flight and literally dumps magnesium out of your cells and into your urine to prepare for battle. It is a vicious cycle. Stress causes magnesium loss and magnesium loss causes more stress. Furthermore, as we age, stomach acid weakens. Without that strong acid bath, your body cannot break down the bonds of magnesium molecules, so they pass right through you. You must look at the root cause, absorption, hormones, or gut health, to actually solve the puzzle. Let's stop the debate and compare the two biggest contenders, magnesium oxide versus magnesium glycinate. People are wasting millions on the wrong one. Magnesium oxide is cheap, found in every grocery store, and boasts a high concentration on the label, but it is basically a rock. It has an absorption rate of roughly 4%, meaning for every dollar you spend, four cents you flush 96 cents down the toilet. It draws water into your gut, causing diarrhea, which actually loses you more minerals. Contrast this with magnesium glycinate, which is bound to glycine, a calming amino acid your body recognizes instantly. It crosses the blood-brain barrier to actually lower anxiety and improve sleep. Stop looking at the milligram count. 500 milligrams of oxide is not better than 200 milligrams of glycinate. It is worse because it stresses your digestion without delivering the payload. If you want a laxative, buy oxide. If you want to heal, pay for the glycinate bond. Mistakes people make. We need to distinguish the five signs of deficiency from the five signs of toxicity, because mixing these up causes damage. First, the five signs you are deficient. You will feel a subtle, persistent twitch in your eyelid or calf because nerves are firing without an off switch. You will experience heart palpitations or a terrifying fluttering sensation. You will suffer physically tight anxiety with tired but wired insomnia. You will crave chocolate or salt intensely as your brain hunts for minerals. And you will feel deep fatigue that sleep doesn't fix. But here is the fear block, the five signs of toxicity, hypermagnesemia. This is when you must stop. You will feel a sudden drop in blood pressure, causing dizziness when standing. You will experience urine retention, 
where you simply cannot go because the bladder is too relaxed. You will feel a strange, heavy limb lethargy, like moving through cement. Your reflexes will disappear. If a doctor tapped your knee, nothing would happen. And in severe cases, your heart rhythm becomes dangerously slow, the opposite of the racing heart of deficiency. If you feel toxicity signs, pushing through isn't detoxing, it is system failure. Here is a secret microhack that doubles effectiveness instantly without costing a dime. Pair your magnesium specifically with vitamin B6, but ideally the active form, P5P. Think of magnesium as the VIP guest trying to get into the club of your cells, and B6 is the security guard that lifts the rope. Without B6, magnesium floats in the blood and gets flushed by the kidneys. When taken together, magnesium is shuttled directly into the cell to stop anxiety and relax muscles. Next time you take your dose, eat a handful of pistachios or sunflower seeds, or check if your supplement has P5P. This tiny chemical adjustment turns a passive mineral into an active healer. The difference between taking supplements and actually absorbing health. The Fast Result Plan Information without execution is useless. So here is the seven-day magnesium reset protocol to flood your system safely. Phase one is the morning flush. Do not take magnesium pills in the morning. Your body wants cortisol high to wake you up. A sedative mineral now causes grogginess. Instead, drink a large glass of water with a pinch of sea salt and lemon. This hydrates tissues and primes the electrical stage for magnesium later. Phase two is the afternoon bridge. At lunch, eat a magnesium bomb salad with spinach, pumpkin seeds, and avocado. Food-based magnesium comes with cofactors synthetic pills lack, teaching your gut to process the mineral naturally without stomach upset. Phase three is the nighttime repair. 45 minutes before sleep, take magnesium glycinate, 100 to 200 milligrams. Combine this with your B6 snack, dark chocolate, seeds. This hits the parasympathetic nervous system exactly when it needs to wind down. By separating hydration in the morning from sedation at night, you work with your biology, lifting brain fog within three days. To move from supplementation to integration, you must manage your environment because stress is a magnesium shredder. If you run on high anxiety, you are punching holes in your gas tank. No amount of fuel will keep it full. Incorporate magnesium baths, Epsom salts on Sundays, not just for the mineral, but as a ritual to lower cortisol so kidneys stop dumping nutrients. Swap afternoon coffee, which depletes magnesium, for herbal tea or bone broth. It isn't about perfection. It is about recognizing that every time you get angry, lose sleep, or eat sugar, you rob your own bank account. The lifestyle fix is simple. Eat green, sleep dark, stress less. This is the only way to keep the tank full without constantly needing a refill. Final takedown. You are the only expert on your own body. No doctor or influencer can feel what you feel. If you take a supplement and feel worse, that is your body's intelligence speaking. Respect it enough to stop. We live in a world selling one-size-fits-all solutions, but real health is nuanced. You now have the knowledge to distinguish between a body crying for help because it is empty and a body shouting stop because it is full. Don't just follow the herd, follow your biology. Take the plan, test it for seven days, watch your symptoms, and take back control. Start tonight. If you're confused about which brand to buy, look for one that uses Albion Minerals or has a GMP certified stamp.